Hey everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art. Welcome to Learn at the Little House. I thought I would try to make a video and get back into the swing. As you may have noticed, or maybe you haven't noticed, I haven't had many videos in my lineup lately. And um, the reason for that is hubby and I are crazy um, doing things in the house. Yeah. So I thought this might be a nice way, excuse the lawnmower in the background, it's either that or the dog barking. I thought this might be a nice way to uh, ease back into it. So today, hubby and I, Brian and I, went to the flea market, which we love, and it was a beautiful day. It's been uh, rainy, humid, really cranky here in Pennsylvania. But today was sunny and beautiful, and it actually got quite warm where I am sweating to death now. <laughs> Not complaining, just telling you a little bit about the weather and what's going on over here in my life. So uh, I thought I would uh, shake it up, and um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I got at the flea market today. And I will um, make a shop update when I get the things listed. However, at the moment, this week is a very busy week for me. I'm watching my granddaughter. Uh, she's a little five-year-old, Lucia is her name, uh, this week, because my daughter has her aunt, well, it's a, she has a twice a year, uh, her sale, uh, kids consignment sale, and she, it's amazing. If you live anywhere near um, Allentown, Pennsylvania, you sh and you have kids or grandkids, you should, you should go. I'll put a link in the description box below and you can see just how big it is. She usually has anywhere from seven to 800 and more plus uh, consigners. It's, it's like enormous. So I watch the kids um, during the sale. So I, I'll have Luch this week. And so I don't know how much work I'll get to do in my Etsy shop. That's why I thought, let me just show you some of the stuff I got just to wet your whistle and um, I'll let you know when I get it listed. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch the camera over so you can look at the stuff and stop looking at my sweaty self. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, here we are, and I'm gonna try to hold the camera as still as I possibly can. So one of the wonderful things that I found was some sewing stuff and rickrack, vintage rickrack. Some of it is still in the original packaging, and then I found some on cards, on these big cards, and it is wonderful, beautiful, different sizes, different colors, and lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, this, I just, okay, I'm loving this. So these things are gonna wind up in the Etsy shop. I have one of these, I saved one for myself, and this one I'm gonna put in the Etsy shop. Isn't it cool? It's a garter. Oh my gosh, just love it. And what can you do with it? Um, you know, some kind of um, repurposing project. I'm gonna probably use mine in an altered book, um, believe it or not, but you can do so many different things with it. This is a, a very old vintage letter, lettering book, and I think it's like from, it's pretty old. No, I don't remember where the, oh, copyright 1958. So it's very old, and look how cool is that. So you can use it as a lettering book and learn how to do uh, lettering, or you could cut it up and use the pages in your um, collage art. I started picking these up. I am falling in love with this. This is my new favorite thing. And these are old record player albums, or record albums, I should say, not record player. And I thought they would make amazing um, altered books and of course you know the records are meaningless to me <laughs> so they'll come out and I don't know what I'll do with them but some of them are so fun so this one is um, you know a children's one and the colors are beautiful and I just love them so I did pick up a few of these today um, this here this next item or items is a series on pen brush and ink so it's an, like an art series animal drawing so it's teaching you how to do all these figure drawing the male figure um, pencil charcoal crayon and let's see if we can see a date i know they're pretty old I, I don't buy things unless they're old 
Okay, so this is, it uh, looks like 1951. I am gonna sell this as a set. Wash and um, gouache, wash and gouache. Light and shade, heads, hands, and feet. And they're really quite, quite interesting. Really interesting, beautiful uh, books. So I got a set of those. Yeah, love that. Well, it's, it's not actually a whole set. There's, there's other ones that go with it. Um, but I am going to sell it as a set. All right, over here. Um, you might find this interesting. I know I did. All right, let me stop reaching. So this is an old set of Sakura Craypaws. So uh, the crayons. And they are old. So I tried writing with them. And they will write, but I don't know if I would really use them in my art. I might just have them, you know, as a as a fun as a fun thing in my room. These are made in Japan, as are all Sakura items, I guess. But wait till you see this next uh, thing. <laughs> Look at these, and I am I have them holding the phone in my hand, so I'm not going to probably be able to do this one-handed. But this is a. Um, a watercolor set it's a sh it's a schminky watercolor set now this one I'm gonna keep for myself but I did want to show it to you and there's paint in there and in a second I'll put the phone down and I'll open I'll open them up these I, I just thought they were really cool and they are pouches they're canvas very very sturdy canvas and you know can can be used in all sorts of uh, different projects so they're bank they're bank bags old bank bags so I got a handful of those. Um, I got, oops, sorry, sorry about that noise. I got um, a couple of these books and I just find them fascinating uh, with the metal here and you put your pages in here and you would take your pages out by opening, you know, opening these screws and take your pages out. But it's really thick. You see how thick that is? Thick board, and I thought, oh my gosh, these would make amazing um, art journals. So you could work on your piece of paper outside the book, and then you could put it in the book, so as a single sheet. So I know a lot of times we're like, well, what are we gonna, how are we gonna bind these single sheet journals? So I got a couple of these. Uh, they, they're, they're all very different. All right, I'm gonna just set this down. Here, I got this one. And this one's actually made out of corduroy. And um, it's just slightly different um, binding, but along the same lines. All right, um, I don't wanna move you around. I don't wanna make you sick. I got some vintage fabric. I just wanna quick show you that. Okay, some vintage fabric. Oh, you can do lots of lovely things with vintage fabric. All right, I do want to show you this that I have in my hand. Um, Hubby found it, a big, big box of old blueprints. And he found them where a lot of them are in this beautiful natural color. But then in the box, he found a couple of the real blue blueprints. Is that, is that amazing? So I'm thinking, um, we've been actually working on making ephemera packs, so I'm thinking that um, they might find their way into those ephemera packs. All right, so here's a ledger, and I'm always tickled to death when I find a ledger, and I do believe this one's empty. Yep, this one's empty. So it will be sold uh, as an empty ledger to do art journaling in. And it's in really pretty good shape. The binding is nice. The back is nice. And the pages were nice and clean. I don't know if you just if you saw them when I just flipped through there. Yeah. There's no date. So that. Now these we, we got a while, quite a while ago. I actually took a picture of these and posted them on Instagram. And um, these are going to go in the Etsy shop. And they're going to be four for twelve dollars. I know somebody asked me on Instagram. They saw them, um, and they asked me how much would I sell them and how much they would be. So they have this beautiful metal on them, 
and they're really beautiful colors. So a uh, nice, beautiful, rich wood. All right, I told you I would open these up and show you the inside. So this little tiny one, you see there's a beautiful brass um, label on there. It's, it's, yeah, it's brass. And it does have paint inside. And it's kind of hard to tell the colors of the paint, but I did dip my brush in there and I got some color uh, off, off them. But it is adorable. I mean, look how tiny it is. My fingers. It's really small. And this is the red one. So that one's a little bit newer. And then that's the other one. It says Gunther Wagner. And this is the empty one. And um, this one I didn't buy. Well, there we go. Schminky. This is the one I'm keeping. I always wanted a set of Schminky. And I, I can't afford them. <laughs> so I'm going to use this. I'm going to keep this one. So there you have those. Um, I found this cute little stamp set. And all the letters are there. Isn't that adorable? And in the vintage box. I thought that was adorable. Uh, this right here. This little box I thought was cute as anything. You, it says made in Spain. I don't know what this is made out of, to be honest with you. It looks like it feels like leather, but I, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's leather. But it's just really, it's just a really cute, I'm sorry, I'm a little close, a really cute case. And it does close, so you could put stuff in it. Or, I was thinking, because you know me, my brain goes right to books. If you made one of those fold-out books, accordions, and you like glued the um, base down here, and then when you opened it, you just like pull out all the accordion. I thought that would be a really fun thing to have those in. All right, I have some more stuff. Hold on. All right, we're outside because the stuff was still, my husband puts the stuff on the patio, I go through it, and then we decide where it's going. So <laughs> we really, I mean, got a lot of stuff today. The, I collect purses, all right, and I'm going to sit down and see if I can't do this. So I love little change purses and wallets that are very old, and whenever I see them, I pick them up. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but um, I may sell some. I don't know. Uh, this is actually, again, I'm one-handed. Hold on. It's this little thing, I guess you put money in it and then it slides into this. So I, I couldn't resist that. Um, the Jingle Bells, I just, I just love them. Um, I collect scissors, old scissors. So anybody has old scissors, <laughs> crosses. Uh, these are my personal collections. And that's why I thought maybe you'd enjoy seeing them. So I just love crosses. And as many of you uh, probably know, I wear rosaries as a necklace. And I wear cross necklaces. So I picked up this beautiful rosary today. Love them. Love them. Yeah. And I love old glasses. So that's going to be in my collection too. And uh, let's see what else is on the table. A Viewmaster. I'm really kind of lately I've been really interested in the Viewmaster. I've been looking for these pieces that go in them and I can't find them anywhere but I came across that so I'm gonna keep that and put that in my art room just as decoration. Uh, let's see I did get some uh, junk broken jewelry. Um, these I don't know what these what this is 25 cents. Uh, it says blow piping sticks. And if anybody knows what that is, but they're tr it's charcoal. So I said I I can I can do art with these. I'm sure it's charcoal. Um, this is a um, one of those autograph books, those vintage autograph books that that'll go in the Etsy shop. Do you love the socks? <laughs> oh, I couldn't resist them. And then this is like a super long pair. They're brand new. It goes up to your I don't know where. It goes up really high. So I bought them for myself. Um, I've been picking up um, clothing at uh, the flea market because I, I don't like to dress like everybody else. That sounds terrible. But um, I enjoy dressing, you know, different. 
so I pick up all this crazy stuff when I see it. These are for a dresser. And I thought they're very lightweight, so I thought they would be great on an altered book. Yeah, right? All right, I'm trying to go through here quickly because I've taken a lot of time already. This is a ledger with the covers missing. And I will take the pages out of this and use it in my ephemera packs that Brian and I finally started making. Old razor blades. Uh, is this crazy? I never saw anything like it. The lady was telling me her parents died and she was cleaning out She was cleaning out their house. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I had to have them. That's the way that's the way I shop. These are uh, vintage uh, checkbooks Which are really pretty hard to come by I don't I'm not gonna be able to open up to a check So there, there's checks. Yeah, there's a check they would be great in a junk journal. So I'll probably take them apart. I found another watercolor set. Uh, this was from somebody else. Lindsay's Quality Watercolor. Oh, this is from Glenside, Pennsylvania, so not too far from me. Uh, a little ledger, a scrapbook with full of uh, ephemera. Um, what else? Oh, my husband found these. They're stickers. Aren't they cool? They're going to go in our ephemera packs, too. I was like, oh. Brian they are fun and this is an old uh, xylophone uh, we have been looking for xylophones I can't tell you how long because I make um, wind chimes and I wanted to make one with these so I will keep that for myself and underneath here are bags remember I showed you some bags in the house these are uh, they put uh, bullet things in here but I just love the bag, so I'm going to throw them in the washer and get them nice and clean and put them in the um, Etsy shop because I think they're awesome. Okay, and this, I don't know what these are, but I had to have them because they're all cruddy looking and they're connected. Some of them are connected. You see that on a, by a chain? All right, they're kind of gnarly, but you get the gist. I have no idea what they are. Uh, like I said, had to have them. Right. And this beat up old chair, I'm gonna repurpose and use in my house someplace. And that thing under the record albums is a sewing box. And the lady was just, she just wanted to get rid of it. And I got it for $3. So <laughs> I couldn't resist. So it opens up and you can put all your sewing things in there. So, and this chair, she just didn't want to be bothered with this chair. The springs are in perfect condition, but you can see that the seat is ripped. So I'll um, redo that. But And, it, and it's kind of a small chair. It fits me really well because I'm, I'm pretty short. So um, $5 for the chair. All right, guys. I just stopped and turned you around so you'd see me. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. So that was my flea market haul for today. Some of the things will be in the Etsy shop, some won't. Some will be my private in my private stash. But I just thought I'd, I'd uh, give you a peek into the craziness of my life when I go to the flea market. Sorry, I think I just chopped off the top of my head here too. And I hope everyone has a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And I will see you again soon. I have a project in the works and I'm going to try to play with it. Uh, in the afternoon um, after I finish watching Lucci this week and then um, you know I'll share it with you so I hope to see you soon bye